Hello everybody and welcome to the last turn of Eternal Star. So we are finally almost done with this board and then we'll have one more board to go and then we'll be done with Mario Party. Well, okay, I'll, I'm going to be talking about the single player campaign a little bit, but I'm not going to be going through it. But uh, anyways, here we go with one last star. Oh, I rolled a perfect 10. Beat that Bowser Jr. or ba Baby Bowser and he's not going to. He's going to lose once again. You are the definition of a failure, Baby Bowser. Alrighty, 10 stars. Like I said in the first first time part playing this, you can get 10 stars pretty easily. And I find it ironic that he meant, man, you guys are tough. And yet he keeps acting like we're not. He keeps giving us, oh, come on, freaking Bowser again. He keeps giving us the big block and he gets the little one. So I don't, I don't know why he does that, but whatever. Can I get the thousand coin present? That'd be nice. Bowser Balloon Burst again! Oh boy! Alright, let's get through this. We're almost done, guys. Can you believe it? Almost to the end. I, you know, it's hard to believe. And it's, it's really hard to believe how, you know, after spending so much time on this game, it's hard to believe it's finally almost over, you know? It's surreal to me. But, uh, yeah. Yep, you got no coins, so you can't get any stars, Donkey Kong. I guess you could technically say my revenge is complete against Peach and Donkey Kong now, since I've cost them coins plenty of times, but I don't know. Yep, can't get it. Too bad for you, Donkey Kong. Get out of there. Darn it, I thought he was going to demonstrate the other teleporter. Yeah, well. Looks like he gets to, go, gets to roll again, but not like it matters, he's not going to get anything. So, yeah, I, I don't even know why he bothered. I really don't. Whatever the case, though, it's the last turn, so... Yeah, it looks like we're both red, so maybe we'll be teaming up. Maybe we'll begin a 2 versus 2 minigame. Maybe. We'll see. And, hey, Peach isn't going to send us back to start again, so... Good, good. Thank you. Thank you for that. I mean, I would have been fine since the last turn, but whatever, don't matter to me. Maybe she'll actually lose it. Nope. Just gonna say, maybe we can finally see what happens when you lose, but no, he was one away. Gosh darn it. If only she had rolled an eight, then we could have finally saw it. Ah, well, whatever. Not nah, like it matters. Last turn, after all. And I definitely won. There's no doubt in my mind about it. No way they're going to come back from being eight stars behind or nine stars behind. Nope, no way. Yep. Looks like it's me and Donkey Kong versus Wario and Peach in Bobsled Run, which is, we've seen plenty already. But since it's the last minigame on this board, I figure I'd go and show it off anyways. So here we go. And hey, it is winter right now. It is cold outside. May there's snow on the ground where you live. I don't know. So it, it's a fitting way to end this board. The snow themed minigame. Well, I guess it's more ice themed than snow themed, but you know what I mean. It's winter themed to me, and I like it. it it's fun. I just wish there was more than one course, is all. But it, it was the first game in the series, so I can forgive that. It's kind of like how with Dead Rising, how the AI was terrible and whatnot, but I could forgive that because it was the first of its kind, you know, first, first game in the series. You know, if they did that in the sequel and whatnot, I would have been like, no, screw that, that's not okay. But, thankfully, generally, sequels learn from their mistakes, I find. Not always. <clears throat> Donkey Kong Country 3. But, for the most part, they t t tend to. And, hey, the music here is pretty awesome. So, how can you honestly be upset when you're listening to this awesome music? I just don't see how you could. And, almost the end. It's almost over, guys. Can you believe it? Year's almost over, too. Because I'm recording this in December. I don't know if I'm going to be uploading this uh, before the end of the year or not. I might, but uh, we'll see about that. But, yeah, year's almost over as I'm recording this. So, yeah, been, Oh, look at that. Donkey Kong pulled ahead by a coin. I still don't think he's going to keep second, but we'll see. And how did Koopa get back here? Seriously. Last time I checked, he was blasted away like Team Rocket, but whatever. And yeah, it's pretty safe to say I won. I got 10. 
Yeah, I, I probably would have less if I didn't restart the turn so much, but I really wanted to show off how many how many stars you could get on the board if you just got everything to go right, so that's kind of the whole reason behind that. Anyways, everyone receives bonus points for winning stuff, so here's the game star, which will obviously be me because I'm awesome. I dominate those mini games. You fools ain't got nothing on me. And coin star, eh, might be a little close this time. No, but I still got it. I know Donkey Kong had a lot in the beginning, so I thought maybe he would have got it, but no, no, not the case. I'm pretty sure Peach is going to get this one. Yep. She sends back to start so many freaking times, like two or three times. It was, it was a pain. So I was right. She got second place. Anyways, time for the final announcement. Our winner or superstar is clearly me. Awesome. Yoshi. The way it always should be. Congratulations, Yoshi. Now the stars have been collected. What will happen on this board? We'll find out. I'm guessing the star's gonna get fixed. Because it's still in pieces. <laughs> well, first it knocks them away, then it fixes itself. And it turns into Starman for some reason. Seriously, why, why didn't it have stars? I, why didn't it have eyes before and now all of a sudden it does? That's weird to me. <laughs> Yes, I am. Very well deserving, Yoshi, because you are the best after all. No, I admit. Yeah. That's that's unfortunate for you, Aria, but whatever. No matter. I'm the winner in the end, that's what matters. Yeah, the most coins I had was 84. <laughs> that's surprising considering how many I often have, but yeah, well, I spent a lot of coins on stars, what can I say? And, oh, Peach was the only one to land on Happening Spaces. I was wrong earlier. Oh, well. And, uh, yeah. There's still one board left to show off, though, believe it or not. This is the last main board, but there is a special board I do want to show off, so I'm going to be doing that. And, unfortunately, the background does not change when you be Eternal Star. So, anyways, it's not in the warp pipe, it's... Not even in the option house, it's in the minigame house. Let's take a look in there, shall we? Ah, old toad! Wanna to buy some minigames? Um, no, not really. Oh, we can play minigames there! I'll show that off there. There's a Mecha Fly guy. So, let's do that real quick. Alright, so we rotate the control stick, just like in Paddle Battle and uh, Tug of War, all that. So make sure you're wearing a glove when you're doing this, all right? So spinning that uh, sp spinner, and let's see how far he goes. Not very far. 32 times. So not my best record, but whatever. I probably set that when I wasn't wearing a glove, so that's never going to be beaten. But anyways, minigame stadium. This is a... Uh, what, what? Why am I going inside the pot? Why are you a floating head all of a sudden, like it's the Wizard of Oz or something? This is weird! Anyways, let's answer these questions, and obviously I'm a one player, as usual. Someday, though. And, uh, since we are used Mario and Yoshi twice, let's go and use Luigi this time. Why not? Give Luigi a little extra love, why don't we? Will I use a handicap? Yes, I will! I'm totally going to cheat, right? <laughs> no, I'm not going to cheat. So, no handicap. And yeah, this is the, the last board I'm going to be showing off. What the? Ten turns? No, 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 no. Come on. Ten turns? Seriously? Well, alright. I guess I'm going with ten turns, because honestly, there's not a whole lot to show off with this one, so... It's probably best I just go with ten. And we got Red Koopa this time. I am your guide, Koopa Troopa. This is where you test your minigame skills in competition. There are no stars here. Winners and losers decide only by the number of coins won. Even if you stop on a blue space, you won't get any coins, but I still give a bonus. So everybody, give it a your all. Now let's decide the, decide the turn order. 
Yeah, you heard him right. No stars. The only way to win is to get the most coins. So, this is very different from the other board games. That's why I decided to go with 10 turns, because it's honestly very small. There's nothing really interesting to show off. It's just a way to test your minigame skills and whatnot. So, I will be doing a full playthrough of this, but uh, it's only going to be 10 turns, like you guys obviously saw. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's get this going. <laughs> And I gotta admit, this board has a pretty nice theme. It, it's not it's my favorite theme, personally, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. And yeah, this whole star board you're looking at, you've literally seen just about all of it right now. No joke. There is not much to it. Anyways, for the first game we got Keep Away. Not the best game for this board because everybody wins in it, which means uh, we can't get ahead of our competitors, but whatever. Been a while since we've seen it, so I'm just having Luigi spin around in circles and whatnot. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Let's do this. Teamwork is teamwork makes the dream work, right? Right. That was always an old slogan we had back in high school, and I still like it. It's still fitting. All right, come on, Wario, get up there, get up there. There you go. Way to go, Wario. I knew you had it in you. Look at all those coins and those blocks. So awesome. Luigi, you're getting kind of cut off there. Just saying. Probably not, not the best time to bust a move, but whatever. What do I know? I can't bust a move like that. I, I'd probably break my leg if I tried that in all honesty or an arm or something. Yeah, another thing about this board, too. There's no way to save after every turn, so... You can't cheese your way to victory. No, you have to play legitimately, so if you suck at the minigames, well, you're probably not going to win this one, unfortunately. But I'm pretty good at most of them, so I think I'm going to pull through just fine. A lot of statues in the background, like there's Yoshi and Mario. Uh-oh, two versus two! Me and the Princess versus Mario and Mario. In Bob Bobsled Run again? Really? Well, we already got that in this video, so I figure I'm just going to speed it up. Uh, yeah, they, they're actually keeping up a bit at the, at the start there, but nope. Looks like it's going to be another victory for me. Another victory for me and Princess Peach. Alright. Fantastic. So, another 10 coins for us. Means we take the lead over them. And, uh, there's a one-player minigame space, but as far as I know, that's the only one on the board. You'd think maybe they would have some more than that, but no, they don't, unfortunately. So if you want to get a bunch of one-player minigames to try and get ahead, you really can, unless you land right on that one there, so that kind of sucks. But, yeah, well, whatever. And this time we got one versus three. In bowl over. Okay, so in other words, I want to avoid that Koopa shell. I want to avoid that Koopa shell good, because I do not want to lose my coins. That would be no good. Don't want Mario taking my coins. He, he could get ahead of me then, that wouldn't be good. And again, you can't save after every turn, so you can't, can't cheese it. You gotta play legit, which sucks when the AI is kind of broken sometimes, but uh, they're, they're not so bad in this one, I don't think. Oh, he did not hit any of us. Yet he's still celebrating, like, yeah, I hit a pin, woohoo. Yeah, you got a coin, dude. That's nothing to celebrate, all right? There, let me see. Yep, that may I could get that one player space, but no. At least I avoid the red space. There it's and Wario's turn. Alright, looks like we're gonna get a four player game this time. That works for me. And we're gonna be playing Mario Bandstand again. So I'm just gonna go and speed this up and I'll see you guys in the finale next part. See y'all then.